What's up folks, I'm back with another video. I've been away for a little bit, but returning with some important news from Microsoft regarding xCloud and Apple devices. Yes, that's right, xCloud and Apple. But as usual, before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share this video with all your friends and family, and be sure to subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. The more subscribers means the more news and content I can bring to this channel. Alright, the news is in. You may or may not have heard that Microsoft recently opened up the xCloud service on iPhones and iPad devices. Check this out from Microsoft on the Major Nelson's website. Ever since we've launched the Project xCloud preview last year, we've continued to field requests for iOS support. We've been testing an iOS client internally, and today we've taken the next step by making the Project xCloud preview available for iOS users through the Test Flight program. Microsoft is now accepting iOS testers to try out the xCloud service with some limitations due to the App Store policy. So, ask the question, Fabian, what limitations? Well, Microsoft has limited the iOS preview for up to 10,000 users. Only 10,000 user folks. So, you can pretty much assume that these slots are filled. Unlike the 50 plus games on Android, the iOS preview is also limited to one game at the moment, which is Halo The Master Chief Collection. So enjoy playing the game if you're one of the lucky 10,000 iOS users. Um, I'm sure iPhones and iPads will be, uh, you know, will have full capability in the very near future. Just gotta give it some time. Also, the preview is limited to xCloud only and not the console streaming services. So, despite all of the limitations on iOS devices, at least xCloud has already taken the first step forward in the process. Eventually, you'll be playing over 3,000 plus games on your current device. I will expect that to happen sometime in the later future. So, what you need to get started? Of course, you'll need a Microsoft account with an Xbox Gamer Tag. So, make your way over there to the Xbox website, create yourself an account, and get yourself a Gamer Tag. Um, you also need an iPhone or iPad running iOS 13 or greater with Bluetooth 4.0. You also need access to a Wi-Fi or mobile data connection that supports 10 megabits per second download of bandwidth, similar to video streaming. If you are using Wi-Fi, a 5 gigahertz connection is recommended. I prefer internet speeds much higher than 10 megabits per second for download. Um, if you're brand new to xCloud, there is a bit of lag uh, the slower your uh, internet speed is. So try to get something a little bit more than 10 megabits per second, uh, in my opinion. Um, you also can try and use a controller clip that will bring your phone and the controller together on a mount. I do have a video that I will leave a link in the description for you to watch later. You also need to fill out the xCloud registration form. I will leave a link in the description below so go ahead and check that out as well. The very least you can do now while waiting is to sign up for a Microsoft account and gamer tag if you haven't done so already. And to also register for the xCloud preview. Get these steps knocked out the way so once Microsoft expands their user base for iOS devices, you'll receive an invitation via email and therefore you can download the streaming app and enjoy the service. Make sure you stay tuned and keep your eyes open. I'm sure Microsoft will be opening the doors for more iOS users soon to try out the service. This is still great news for xCloud despite the limitations us gamers face. You don't want to miss this opportunity. I'll be sure to report any news I find. Until next time, see you soon.